thanks for joining me today. We are going to be doing a sewing machine tour. I wanted to show you all the sewing machines that I work with. I have three sewing machines, but today we are only going to do the two modern sewing machines. Both of them were machines that my mom purchased for her own use and doesn't really use anymore. I am really lucky to have the use of these machines. Um, but basically, I just wanted to show you that you can make great clothes on any kind of machine. I was looking for an antique sewing machine not too long ago, and I found tons of machines on Etsy, eBay, and I think one of the best resources, if you have it in your area, is going to be Craigslist, because people just want to get rid of stuff. And the nice thing about sewing machines is fall apart too easily. Like you can get one and get it serviced and it'll still work just as good. In the future, I do wanna learn how to service my machines myself just to save a little bit of money and to know how to do it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at these machines. First off, I'm just going to apologize for my uh, shaky camera. I'm going to probably do this whole thing handheld and we will see how we do. But today we are doing the tour of my lovely little Psy sewing machine. That is the name of the sewing machine, uh, spelled S-Y. It is from Ikea. It comes with these uh, blue and yellow accents, which I thought was very cute, just like the Swedish flag. I got this machine from my mother. Uh, she bought it for herself and then she hasn't used it very much. Technically it is still hers, you know. Um, Actually, all of my machines are hers, but uh, we, we share and I honestly use it just a bit more. It has a lot of different functions um, with just different kinds of stitches. I usually only use the uh, straight stitches and the zigzag. I want to try some of these more in the future. And I haven't done a buttonhole on this machine yet because I am honestly quite afraid of buttonholes. I only did one buttonhole this year and I did it by hand. Um, so hopefully I will pick a project in the future that will have more buttonholes involved. Here is the dial where you can adjust your tension and instead of dialing to change stitch length, you just go to the letter that the stitches match and then adjust this dial here. And I find that really handy. Um, the back stitch is here. It's a nice big back stitch. Um, the other machine that I use has a button, so the handle was something a little bit to get you. One of my favorite things about this machine is that the pedal is also that cute Swedish flag blue color. So I like the pedal, I think it's pretty nice, easy to use. My one big complaint with this machine is that the bobbin winder, when you switch it over to the winding position, you move the tab over and then you pull out the hand crank on the side. This bobbin winder does not wind very nicely and that could just be user error, it could be me, um, but I find that I have to sort of move the thread up and down as it winds around the bobbin in order to get it to evenly uh, distribute the thread on the bobbin itself. The Psy sewing machine, I don't think they have it at Ikea anymore, but it came with this nice little case. It gives you the instruction book. There, there is a PDF of the instruction book and I will put the link to that in the description. But uh, it gives you all of this nice supplies with the cleaning um, materials as well as some chalk and bobbins, a thimble, and seam rippers, all sorts of different things you might need while you're sewing. This is everything that comes in the little white carrying case. Uh, you have some pink chalk, a seam ripper, this interesting little measuring tool. I haven't used that yet at all, but I should look into it more because it seems like it could be quite handy. Uh, several bobbins. I actually have one in the machine and then also on the on my desk right now thimbles, measuring tape, and this little brush for cleaning, as well as this bag full of different feet, more bobbins, 
This is the buttonholer foot that I'm afraid of, but I'll use it eventually. Machine, I'd say, is really good for a beginner machine. I've been able to make a lot of different things with it. Actually, everything I've made this year has been sewn on the side, and I've been pretty happy with it so far. Yeah, if you have any questions about it, please let me know, and then we will move on to my other machine. Up next we have my other sewing machine that I have used a lot more but not very much recently. This is the uh, Viking Herskavarna 425 and it is the Frisia model. Um, this was the sewing machine that I learned how to sew on. My mom got it when I was in, I don't know, maybe kindergarten. and. She used it a bit, and then I, once I was old enough, I started playing with it as well. It's an excellent machine. Um, it was, I think, purchased in the early 2000s or very late 90s, so it's a little bit hardier. I found so far that more of the hard, the older machines can sort of get through a bit more, but honestly, to start sewing, you can use any machine. I would just recommend finding something and getting started. It has all of these separate stitches that you can program in. Uh, I think you can make up your own stitches as well, but I am not 100% sure. So here is that back stitch button, and uh, this is how you lengthen and shorten your stitches so it's not the same kind of cranking motion that the sai had i just got it serviced and here's the little test fabric that they did all the stitches on just to show you everything works this is a i don't know what this is called like a, a top feed bobbin um i didn't know about other kinds of ways to put bobbins in machines until I had started working on the size, so I thought this was how all bobbins went into a machine when I got started. Um, the place that I got it serviced did such a good job. I, I had marker up here and paint on the side. Every cosplay I made when I was first into cosplay was made on this machine, so it was a bit of a mess. And what amazed me most was that this portion here was completely broken off and they reattached it so easily so up here is where we wind the bobbin you just would push this down and then the nice thing about this stopper here is once it gets full of thread then it automatically stops for you my other one doesn't do that you would have your spool of thread here and then wind it through the machine and down as opposed to feeding from the back uh, that was another thing that was a little bit different on this one that i thought was regular in the back this little portion comes out and you can keep bobbins here but I have them all just sort of loose in the bottom at the moment Whoop. along with some scissors and thread wax now I am missing I think maybe two feet for this which is just a darn shame uh, the B foot and I think also the buttonhole attachment so I uh, I might be able to do a buttonhole freehanded with this, but we'll see. Um, because I think there is a button function on here. Yes, number 26 and 27 are buttonhole functions. So I have a lot of reading to do in these user's guides because I think it's been well over two or three years since I did pull out the Herskavarna the Viking for anything, but I'm really excited to use it to sew in the future, and I think it will help me be a little bit more daring with the things that I want to make because of the different stitches on it and um, capabilities that it has. But like I said, really, if you're just getting started, any machine is going to do the job. Start practicing. All right, so those are my two machines. I have one more machine to show you, but it's a little bit of a different caliber, so I will be showing that to you in another video. And thank you so much for watching. All right, bye. Biggest thing that I noticed difference-wise about my Psy and my Viking is that the Psy is much louder. The Viking is 
very quiet when it sews. It purrs like a kitten. Whereas the sigh is a little more like this. But like I said before, you can really sew good clothing on any machine. All you need is a straight stitch, maybe a zigzag and a back stitch. And you can make a ton of stuff. I would love to hear what kind of sewing machine you work with and if you like it, what you like about it, or if you're looking for your sewing machine, um, feel free to put that in the comments. Maybe if we get enough people here chatting, we can give each other some advice. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, please like it. And if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe, be brave, and do your best. Bye.